Hey my friends, welcome to the Trembo fam. We are getting ready to have our annual Halloween party tonight. And right now we are putting together eight last minute Halloween treats. The day of, they are festive, they're quick, and they're easy, and they're gonna be ready for tonight. We thought we'd take you along with us to inspire you and show you too that you can have fun with these Halloween treats for some Halloween fun. Let's get started. Here is the grocery haul for all eight Halloween treats that we are going to be making. M&M's! We bought all of this at Walmart. Every bit of it came from Walmart. Yeah. This is going to be turned into some spooky, spooky fun. Here we go. Are we ready? Thumbs up. Ready to do it? First up is going to be the Nutter Butter Ghost Pops. Ghost Pops. All right, first up, we want to melt our chocolate. Next up is Ooh. our spider cookies. Ooh. We are making Nestle Toll House pre-made cookie dough. Super easy and fast. Just put them on our pan. They'll be ready to go. And then we're going to turn them into spider cookies. And it looks like someone got into the chocolate. Who got into the chocolate? Me. You did. I see it in your mouth. You didn't lie. That's a good boy. Next up is the cake graveyard, and what we're going to need is two cake mixes. I'm using Betty Cracker, 
and then Pepperidge Farm Square Cookies. Chessmen, sweet and simple cookies. Monster Oreo Pops. We are just using offspring and I wanted to make them all purple, but they only, they did not have any purple candy melts left, so we got some more white and I got some food coloring and we are going to attempt to try to turn it purple. And then we got some dark sprinkles for their hair and some eyeballs to make these monstery fun. Here we go. Next up, pretzel rod zombie fingers. 
made with green candy melts and almonds for the fingernails. Here we go. for the pumpkin stems. to need butterscotch baking chips, chow mein noodles, mini marshmallows, some creamy peanut butter, candy eyeballs, a bowl for melting the butterscotch baking chips, and measuring cups. Let's get started!
And for a bonus, we made up some witch's brew punch for the party. Here's all the ingredients. And there it is, Witch's Brew Punch for your Halloween party. The kids loved it. It looks gross, but it's so yummy.